Hi again, I'm Lisa Smith, your marketing mindset and manifesting coach, here to share with you one strategic shift in your service-based business that will simplify your marketing, allow you to charge higher fees, and get better results for your clients. Let me ask you a question. Who is seen more as a sought-after expert, charges higher rates and gets them, and gets very targeted, high-quality results for their clients, the general practitioner or the specialist? One of the most common mistakes that service providers make that keep them struggling and broke is being too general and not choosing to specialize in a small and specific group of people with a specific problem. This is typically referred to as a niche or a niche. There is a saying in the business coaching field, niche to get rich. Choosing a narrow niche to work with is an idea that meets with great resistance from service-based business owners, especially healers and coaches, because they want to save the world, so to speak. But it is so crucial for you to be open to this concept and decide upon a niche as quickly as possible if you really want to have a successful practice without so much effort. If you try to be everything to everyone, you'll really fail to make an impression on people. They'll view you as just one of many in a crowd of similar service providers and likely to make their choice of who to use based on factors such as location or price. And being chosen based on being cheaper is a sure way to put you in the poorhouse. You want to become a big fish in a small pond. Now this may seem counterintuitive because it creates a perception of lack and limitation. But the truth is, if you pick a good niche, you can have plenty of business. Especially if you create a way to offer your in-person services virtually or in groups, which I'll talk about in the teleseminar. So, how does niching as a single strategy shift your marketing, allow you to charge higher fees and get them, and get better results for your clients? Well, let's look at the marketing first. If you're generalizing, you don't have a unique selling point or what's referred to as a USP that is easily seen or heard in the crowd of similar businesses. You won't be using clear, concise language that makes people take notice and allows them to feel like you're talking just to them and you really understand them. Therefore, you'll have to spread your marketing methods out in a lot of directions with a lot of resources and a lot of time yet still real yield minimal results because no one is seeing you as a sought-after expert. When you focus on a very specific group of people with a specific problem, you can get to know their very specific needs and wants, pains and challenges, and market in a way that is very targeted to where they hang out, what influences them, and what they're willing to pay for. You'll also hone your skills more as you work with them, becoming an expert at solving their problem or meeting their need, which in turn helps them get better results in working with you. And that leads us back to one of the other benefits that I mentioned, improve results for your clients. And if you're getting great results with them, aren't they then more likely to refer people to you who they know have the same problem? Now, what about the second benefit that I mentioned earlier, allowing you to charge higher fees? Well, let's refer back to the example of the doctor who is the specialist versus the one who is the general practitioner. The specialist has greater expertise, knowledge, and skills in a particular and usually more complex problem. As a result, she naturally garners more trust from people. All these factors create a higher perceived value and therefore a greater willingness of people to have to pay for that trust, that expertise, and the more likelihood of getting the desired outcome. And the specialist doesn't have to see as many patients as the general practitioner to earn as much or even more than the GP. So I think by now you can really see the benefits to you and your future clients of choosing a specific niche to market your expertise on. And remembering that niching doesn't mean you have to turn out everyone outside of that niche. You can work with whomever you want. That's one of the benefits of being your own boss. It just means the majority of your marketing efforts and your continued mastery of your service skills are geared towards your niche to make you rich. I look forward to sharing more great information like this with you on the teleseminar and really getting you on track to build a business that is satisfying to your soul and your bank account. Make sure to mark it on your calendar so you can be on the call live to ask questions and receive a special tip about a simple way that I use and teach my clients to make more confident and successful calls to leads and prospects. It won't be on the recording, so only those live on the call will hear it. 
I'll talk to you then.